So we did two practice problems together in our class meeting today on June 3rd. Um, if you have not watched the video from June 2nd, 1st, um, and you were not in that class meeting, you should probably go do that. Uh, this is a follow up to that. It's just a couple more practice problems. So we're gonna still use our X puzzle, but we have a number here. For, whereas last week when we worked with these problems, there was an invisible one here for every single problem. Before we can use our X puzzle, we're going to take and multiply these two numbers together. And two times negative 21 gets us negative 42. That's the number that we put at the top of our X puzzle this week or for this problem. And then we're still gonna take the number that's here and it's an invisible one and put it down here. The next thing that we wanna do with this is start coming up with factors that would get us 42. Like we know that two and 21. We also know that six and seven get you 42, but this is a negative 42. And that means that one of the um, factors has to be negative and the other has to be positive. I'm looking at that six and seven because I also know when I add them together, I want to get a positive one. So that means if I have a negative six times a positive seven, when I multiply them, I get this. When I add them, I get this. So that's what the X puzzle is helping us figure out. Now the other difference that comes is last week, we would have written parentheses and put X's in and taken what we got here and put them in and we were finished. It's not quite as simple this week. We have a couple of additional steps we need to take. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to rewrite this original uh, quadratic, but we're going to use this to show where this X came from. So I want you to notice what happened there. 2X squared comes from this. Negative 6X plus 7X comes from here. And those two together make a positive X because negative 6, positive 7. This just got written down here. Our next step is we're going to group these. We're going to make two groups because we want our answer to be two uh, binomials that we're going to be able to multiply together to come back to this. The next step in the grouping is to look at each group that we made and see what can be factored out of that group. By factoring out, I mean I'm dividing. So 2x can be divided out of 2x squared, and it can be divided out of 6x. So I'm gonna write it down here like this. 2x squared divided by 2x leaves me with just an x. Negative 6x divided by 2x gives me negative three. Then I'm gonna divide this by its greatest common factor, which is seven. I'm gonna put the seven down here, put its parentheses, and when I take 7x divided by 7, I get x. When I get negative 21 divided by 7, I get negative 3. I hope you realize what's in these parentheses is exactly the same. If that's what happens, you did the work correctly. What we're going to do is take these other two parts that we factored out, and they, oops, I just realized I said 2x up here, but I only wrote a 2 there. This goes here. This goes here, and then what's in these parentheses, we write here. Now what we want to do is say, look, if we believe that this is the factors of this, then I should be able to take these and multiply them and get this back. So let's set up a box. So I have this one here, this one here, and I'm gonna multiply and see if I get all of the same pieces from up here. 2x times x is gonna be 2x squared. This is 7x, this is negative 6x, and this is negative 21. When I combine my like terms, I end up with x. So I have 2x squared plus x minus 21 
that is the same thing I started with. That means that this is my answer. Remember factoring a quadratic, we're just basically taking it back to the factors that can be multiplied to make that quadratic. Let's do one more. <clears throat> we're gonna start off with six X squared plus five X minus six. Make the X puzzle. We're gonna multiply this times this. Six times negative six gives me negative 36. The five gets put down here. And now this puzzle is ready to help me brainstorm. What are two like terms that would give you five X? Well, I know to get 36, I can multiply to six times six, two times 18, three times 12. I'm listing all the factor pairs that can give me 36. And I'm looking for something that when I, I can see a difference of five. Why a difference of five? Because this is a negative 36, which means one of the factors has to be positive and the other has to be negative. And I see this right here. And I know the difference between nine and four is five. So that gets me this. The question is, which is positive and which is negative? Well, since this is positive, this must be positive and this must be negative. So now we've taken our factor pairs or our, um, our X puzzle and figured that out. We're going to come back and rewrite this with the middle term rewritten. Instead of putting 5X, we're going to put negative 4X, positive 9X, minus 6. This is the same as this. This term is combined. Here it's spread out. And we know it's spread out with 4 and 9 because we use this to find them. And now I'm going to group this. I'm going to take each group separately and find its greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 6x squared and negative 4x is 2x. I know that because 2 is the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 and they both have an x. But this one only has one x, this has two, so I can only take out the greatest. <clears throat> by factoring that out, I'm basically dividing. <clears throat> six x squared divided by two x would give me three x. Negative four x divided by two x would give me negative two. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other binomial. Nine x minus six, greatest common factor, is 3. 9x divided by 3 would give me 3x. Negative 6 divided by 3 would give me negative 2. If these parentheses match, I've done it right. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. <clears throat> I'm going to check my work. 2x plus 3, 3x minus 2. I'm going to multiply. Combine my like terms. And I get 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. This is the same as this which means this is the answer. Try the 10 problems I've left you in Google Classroom. Um, I'm gonna give you until Monday to try to get that done. If you get stuck, email me with any questions on specific problems and I can make a quick video and send it back to you. Um, yeah, thanks, let me know if you have questions.